Yeah, it'll be a gym here. Ah, uh, boy, it's getting cold out there, but it's starting to warm up again. It's, 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 it's above freezing. I never did get to finish that story. Yeah, the story was, uh, the, the way I learned about freezing weather in 29 is because when I worked at Cascade Mountain, the, the, the guy, Dave Boss, you know, he says, hey, Carl, what's the freezing temperature? I was like, uh, 15 below, 20 below. Yeah, that's freezing, all right, but no, what is the freezing temperature? Uh, I don't know. Zero below? Well, that's freezing. He's Carl. Did you ever check your thumb on there? I'm like, yeah. Well, what's the freezing temperature? I don't know. He's, well, this is your job. I want you to go down there, look at the thermometer, and tell me what is the freezing temperature. I'm like, all right. So then, uh, as I'm going out the door, Dean Rowney, he, he looks at me, I don't know, <laughs> uh, yeah, big job to do out there now, hey, don't you mess it up, and he, he, he passed me his pipe, you know, I'm like, oh, come on, I looked at it, and he had some weed in there, I'm like, oh, cool, <laughs> yeah, because that cast came out, you can get high there, they won't drug test you, I'm not trying to pronounce it, I'm not trying to sell it or I'm not trying to, you know, advise it or, you know, I'm not trying to push it or nothing, but this is, you know, this is good all 30 years ago, all right, so don't even worry about it. It's just part of my, what was that an attraction? Oh, my God. Attraction? Oh, my God, I just noticed that. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. Oh, my God. That looks like it's infected. My tooth. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Hmm. Oh my god. Never knew that. <laughs> Anyhow, whatever you made, I gotta go to Walmart and get me some uh, Zen track. I forgot to get Zen track. So, when I'm going there. I try to call Mike Nelson. His, 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 his answer machine is full. Everybody trying to get a hold of him. He got his money, he got his money. Yeah, everybody's up his ass. Cause, yeah, that's what he does. He gets his paycheck, goes out to bar, buys everybody drinks. You know, fuck, fuck crazy Carl, you know. Sorry for swearing, but no, whatever. That's a nice story. Anyway, so I go down there and I take a hit, you know. And then I come back up there, I looked at it, you know, I'm sitting there staring at him, sitting there smoking the little bowl of weed, little tiny bowl, you know. And then I come back up there, and I walk in, I go, why? That's a long walk. He goes, well, Kyle, what's the freezing temperature? Uh, I forgot. You forgot? How did you forget? It's only about a half a mile, a quarter mile. Uh, I forgot. Well, maybe you need to go back down there and check again. All right, these guys want to know what the freezing temperature is. All right, guys, this is how it goes. This is you know, you know, and he said it. We got the group, you know, they, you know, every day we have the discussion of what's going on and what what needs to be done and how things are going and all the new guys and you know, introduction and all that. So uh, he sent me back down to go again. Uh, and I looked at Dean, and I smiled, I said, hey, <laughs> can you hold more? Yeah, he says, no, I think you had enough. He says, well, I'm going to take a resin hat. He goes, All right, go ahead, clean her out. Yeah, it's pretty clogged. Uh, yeah, clean her out. All right. All right. So I go back down there, and I'm scraping up the resins, you know, I'm getting big hits, big hits. Now I'm really getting messed up, you know. Uh, I'm smoking all the man. I'm cleaning up real good. He liked it when I cleaned it. Yeah, so then he could use it. Anyhow, anywho, <laughs> so I went down. I seen it this time. And then this time I went back up and I set it all the way up. I said twenty nine, twenty nine, twenty nine. And I kicked the door up and I go, it's twenty nine. He goes, yay, finally. All right, all right. You know, have a seat. You know, we can finish this discussion with the new guys. You know, is that yeah, Carl's been here for a couple of years now? He 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 ought to know what it is, but I guess it took him twice to remember it. But yeah, so Carl, what's the temperature? Freezing temperature? Twenty nine. You know, all right. I'm glad you remembered. Uh, you know, 
He said, yeah, you look kind of funny there. I, I, I'm all right. I'm just tired. And he goes, all right, whatever. He knew. He knew. He knew Dean smoked, and he knew I smoked. And yeah, yeah, that was our medicine. Well, you got to be a stoner to be out there. You, when it's 15, 30 below zero, and you're out there making snow, you got to be stoned. Uh, I'm telling you. you got to be stoned because any normal person ain't going to be out there. Trust me. Any normal person ain't going to be out there. But if you're high, yeah, hey, you know, stoners like that kind of shit. You know, I'm sorry for swearing, but you know, making snow and stuff, you know, it's all cool, you know, the way Christmas is. It's all like Christmas, you know. I like getting high in Christmas, you know, like all the wilderness. And that. I can't, I can't. I always say if I lost my job at Caravan Tours, I think I'll go back to being a snowmaker. Now that I'm older and wiser, and I got experience driving four wheeler now, <laughs> look at my nose. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think uh, I'm bigger now. Hundred pounds bigger. You know, I'll be able to push some snow guns, no problem. Yeah. So yeah, that go back to Portage, I guess. Yeah. Might as well. Anyhow, anyhow, <laughs> that uh. Just came on, yeah. When I left there, I was making at least eight fifty an hour. Oh. Eight fifty an hour. I would have been making, you know, well, twenty years ago. I would have been probably making. That would have been ten years. I would have been, you know, at least ten bucks. <laughs> I'm waking, making way more than that. They, I don't know if they can afford me, but it could probably be up here. You know, middle wage is fifteen. Yeah, so maybe seventeen fifty. I'll make snow fifteen and seventeen fifty an hour. Every year you're guaranteed a fifty cent raise. That's what I liked about that place. No matter how fast you were, no matter how slow you are, I detailed the whole mountain, they liked me. Even though I had a problem coming to work on time, but hey, you know, that is a hard job. It's 17 hours a day, man, seven days a week, 365 days a year, you know, except for summertime, you know, summertime, it's just regular 40 hours a week, and that's it. Yeah. Come in at a certain time, you leave at a certain time, and that's it. Cascade Mountain, Portage, Wisconsin, check them out. And the time's coming. Day after Thanksgiving, they start making snow. Maybe she'll learn now. Just see how much they're paying. They would love to have me back. I helped build the, the whole mountain. I was there for about three and a half years. Yeah. I know how to run the machines and everything. How to hook up the electricity and everything. I know it all. Drain the hoses, all that. You, When you drain your hoses, you start from a high spot and you pull it all the way straight down to a low spot so all the water drain out. You never disconnect your hose and put it in a bundle because that stuff will freeze. You know, that stuff will freeze in that hose and that hose is worthless. It's garbage. Yeah, then you got to drag it up on, on top of the hill with a snowmobile hanging up in the hose garden. They call it the hose garden. I, I always used to sing this time. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a hose garden. <laughs> never mean to bring you no sunshine. Never meant to cause you any rain. <laughs> yeah. Rose garden, get it? That old song. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Well, we call it the hose garden. We put all the hoses and we hang all these hoses. Had this big, you know, big old six, six by six, you know, up, you know. It's a big rack stand, whatever, you know. And they go out of hoses up there and hang them over and have them all coming down. That's what they would drain. When it gets sunny out or whatever, and they would drain properly. But you always had to make sure there were, a lot of times they got buried in snow and stuff. You had to dig them out. Always dig. The first thing you do is grab a shovel. That's the first thing. All year round. Shovel, shovel, shovel. Shoveling mud, shoveling snow, shoveling ice, shovel, shovel, shovel. Hard on the back. That's probably why I got a bad back. But anyhow, that's how I learned the temperature. Freezing temperature is 29. Okay, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. They'll probably love me now. Here, Billy Jim. 
Hey, I wonder, I wonder if, uh, God, what was his name? Richest man in town. Uh, God, wow. Never Dave Boss. Uh, the owner. Phil Wass. Phil Wass. The Wass family. Yep. His daughter was, uh, Human Resources, or she wrote out the checks. Bill Wass. Cast him out and check him out. Uh, ask him about Carl Kish. <laughs> I did everything there. I did everything. Rentals, chairlift operator. I ran ran the uh, snow groomer. Well, I didn't snow groom, but I drove one down the mountain. Racer's Edge. It, it, it's uh, at least... Uh, 75 degree drop or something like that. 80 degree drop. Straight down. Not 90, because 90 would be straight down. 90 degrees. Not straight down, 90 degrees. But it's probably about 80 degrees. 75, 80 degrees. I don't know, but it was straight down. The highest part of the mountain, yeah, is one mile. Imagine one mile straight down. And I took a, a snow groomer straight down. Straight down by myself. And you got two levers. You keep both levers straight. And I was standing on the firewall. I was standing on the firewall. Standing and going straight down. One wrong slip, one wrong turn, and you're dead. You're going one mile straight down. Huge cheese, cheese, lot cheese, man. There's the one guy I remember, and he crashed down six times. Oh, he was in Campbell. Cowboy guy, hillbilly guy, I don't know, but uh, big old bump on his forehead, that's all he got out of it. He got lucky. Yeah. Cascade Mountain, that's where it's at. That's where I was at. That's where I used to work. Dave Voss, I heard he's got his own mountain, though. Maybe that's where I'm going to beard and shit. Dave Wallace got his own mountain. Dean Rowney. He says, he ah, I'd take up their tub sometime. Ah, he, he'd be surprised to see you. He, he probably will freak out that you're still alive. Uh, one time Dean Rowney dropped a tree on my head and cast him out. And, yeah. He did it on purpose. I know he did because he was cutting them down. And he's like, you know, I'll feed the dragon, I'll feed the dragon, grabbing the wood, you know, all the wood, and throw it in the fire, throw it in the fire. He said that I had a handful of wood, and I was sitting there staring at the, staring at the dragon, and it was hypnotizing me. And I was staring at it, watching it burn, and I was trying to find a spot where to throw the wood. You're supposed to just grab the wood and throw it on it, grab the wood and throw it on it. You know, no staring at it, no, no glazing at it or nothing, but... He said he cut down this tree on purpose just to keep me moving. He dropped these trees all around me. I'm going to go, 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 try to keep away from the trees. Well, he, he dropped this one tree, and they said that if I, if they wouldn't have yelled at me, it would have fell right next to me. But they says, look out, go! And I turned around, and I had all this wood in my hands. And as I turned around, the tree hit me right dead center in my head. Wham. Next thing you know, I woke up in a puddle of blood. Dropped the fucking tree right on my head. I remember the other guy saying to him, You fucker, you asshole, you did that on purpose. Dropped the tree right on my head. I knew he did it on purpose. I will not hold it against him, though. That's all right. Sorry, so. But they said I walked right at you, and they yelled my name, and I went, huh? Wham. Oh, I went down. I got a couple of stitches. I swear I still got some trees. Let's see. 
Yeah, this is a hard spot and this is a soft spot. Yeah, that's why it's soft. I remember being at Pruitt's Hospital and the nurse said to me they took an x-ray of my brain and she says, if anybody says you ain't got no brains, here it is. That's your brain. I got a big brain, the size of my head. I've seen it. Oh, I got a big brain. I'm a smart person. Don't ever let me fool you. YouTube call, kiss, subscribe. I did all this myself. I learned how to do this myself. YouTube channel, everything. Did it all by myself. Okay, YouTube call, kiss, subscribe. See you later. I got to go do some more shopping. Let's see, I got to get some... Uh, well, I got them shells in there. I want to use them shells up. I think I'm going to get some more stuff and make some more chimichangas. I got to finish making them chimichangas. Not too much, though. Oh, a couple pounds of meat. There we go again. Oh, boy. Another million dollars. Bye. <laughs> this time, I got it straighter. This time, I'm going to do it right. But I'm going to get that good hammer to go. The ground wrong. Don't fatten that stuff. A little bit. I shouldn't have to worry about draining that. I messed that batch up. I really did. I added too many peppers. I'm going to get some more peppers. I'm going to, get, I'm going to put some peppers in there. I'm going to do it right. Okay, fine. Let's see if I need a soundtrack. I need, uh, yeah, there's a couple other things I need. Eggs. Bread. Go Piggly Wiggly first. Piggly Wiggly first. Oh, I gotta get me. Yeah, my internet's off. Yep, yep. Internet's off. Yep, guy, I gotta go to Walmart. Put one hundred thirty dollars down on my my debit card. Get my internet back on. Gosh, dang it! They just won't leave me alone. The bills, but next check. Let's see. I'm just I'm preaching all about the next check. The next check's gonna be huge. I'll pay everybody off, whatever I can. Okay, I love you guys.